What's going on, everyone? Welcoming you back to Shiba Inu land, your ultimate destination for your cryptocurrency fix. I am Ripple Van Winkle, and I am your host. I really hope that everyone is having a wonderful day today, as it is Tuesday. It is a short week for me, since on Friday I have to go up to Orlando for a wedding. One of my closest friends is getting married, and I have to pack my things early on Friday morning and hit the road. I will return on Saturday, and then it will be time to freaking rest. You know I'm not a fan of weddings. This past weekend, another person was married. Got a wedding in October day after my birthday. Got another wedding in November. Gonna have a bachelor party in September. I guess let the good times roll on folks when you get to my age of 38 people. Start getting married my friends a little bit younger. So I guess it makes sense early 30. S to start and tie it down, lock it down. Get all married and good old Rip is invited to all of them. I know how lucky he must be is all coin season here. That's what we're talking about because, oh man, I don't know it do. As not get old to me, I hope it doesn't get old to you, but I get on this channel each and every single day, two times a day, and I keep talking about the markets and how bullish the markets are looking and how beautiful it is to see green and see the total cryptocurrency market cape above two trillion. I actually have a communication with Gemini today because I am talking to her over the counter trading desk because I am trying to get myself an over the counter trading desk. The fact that we already have Coinbase falling down is another wonderful positive indicator on the market. Ability. So when I do exit my crypto positions, I have a reliable OTC where I am able to cash out because fun fact, what I just learned if you hold a lot of crypto, you're not gonna be able to get out through the exchanges if you thought you were gonna use Coinbase's like regular exchange that Public facing one uphold. It's not gonna happen. They are gonna let you cash out a lot of crypto. Why? Because you're gonna jack their order books up. They won't let you do that so if you have a large amount of crypt. To that you're looking to sell all at once and we're gonna talk like a hundred thousand dollars plus. You better start looking for an over-the-counter desk because these exchanges are not gonna let you operate. Let you do what you want. They will lock your account up. They will freeze it. You will be screwed. You'll be stuck holding the bag because the time they unlock it, the market's gonna be all the way back down and the crypto season is gonna be over. And then they know that you are not going to be Elling then they know that you are gonna be sitting on that bag and waiting another three to four years. And then it's gonna be the same cycle over and over. You need to find yourself a reliable over the counter. Exchange the majority of you are aware that I would buy probably close to a minimum of $2,000 worth of cryptocurrency every single month at a minimum. That's not counting because I have weekly buys. I do $500 every Monday, and then whatever else I decide to throw. W into the markets on top of that because I set myself up. If you do have a large amount of cryptocurrency, I'm not flying. I'm not doing anything like that. I'm just saying I've been here since 2017, and I've never taken a single cryptocurrency profit. I've just been stacking. I've been buying. I've been stacking. I've been buying most of. You know I've been buying. I've been buying. I know the times that we are in. I know that this is a bull cycle, that this is what we are all here for. We still have time, probably do, about that summer time frame. We still have to sum Tack up and to load up. Yeah, some coins have already gone up. But it's a lot of crypto out there that has not gone up just yet, folks. That's what you need to focus on just because, say, you missed the pump. In XRP doesn't mean that Cardano already pumped their Hasper or XLM or Algo or Avalanche doesn't mean those crypto coins have already pumped. We still have time to get in. And even though a coin is up 20 to 30%, you need to look at the future of the project and how many X's we are going. G to C on top of that because even though XRP is at 65 cents, we could still reasonably get a 10x out of this, so you didn't miss the boat, a 10x is absolutely massive, anything above a 5x is absolutely massive folks, and that is what I am here for, I am here to make my returns. To get my gains, I'm excited about this, you should be as well when this film was being made. The overall market capitalization of cryptocurrencies was 2.5 trillion dollars. 
when compared to Ethereum, which is presently trading at 3,758%, Bitcoin is currently trading at a 0.81%, and it has increased by more than 3% over the previous 24 hours. Ethereum is currently trading at 67,157. With USDT coming in at a dollar peg, USDC is coming in at a meager 99 cents, while XRP is still attempting to break over that barrier level at 66 cents. USDT could be considered a dollar peg. It is a tough cookie to crack, we made a shot at it. We touched above it, we didn't get closure like we needed, and what happened we came back under 66 cents. That is what I'm paying attention to, that is what you should be paying attention to. Right now, Lux Lines, we just put out the pride tier. Potions for the villain, you make your own villain in the lab. I showcased it in the video, you also. If you don't want to go ahead and make your own NFT, I get it, just buy a villain, 165 bucks pack. Probably about 250 XRP, and you get XRP back each and every single month. We get back over 30,000 US dollars last month alone. We have given back, I think, over $300,000 to holders at this point. So, as Lux Line build out its amazing bright future, you're stacking XRP, and you can have a nice side bag. Imagine if your side bag starts accumulating a hundred couple thousand XRP, and XRP makes that run to six bucks. And you have a thousand XRP in there, you look at a six CAS a side bet. Ah, tell me, does that some fun money to play with? We take XRP. We take credit card, it doesn't matter. They all get back the same rewards. They asked a very significant issue, which is whether or not XRP can achieve a dollar value. Waves part in a Transilo well. A really interesting question, Transilo. I know Ripple owns 40% of you who is behind this tweet. Was a ripple? Was a transilo? Was it a combination of both? But to answer your question, XRP 100% is going to reach a dollar question is can we get to the dollar before Bitcoin goes full on parabolic and gets above its all time high, gets above six figures, because that has been the potential to goal that the objective that I've been talking about this whole time on this channel for the past six months that closer XRP gets to a dollar, the better chances we have of seeing $10 plus XRP folks. But if we look around this range that we currently at right now 65 cents, we're still looking at the three to 6,050 cent target range, and no one should be upset about that no. One, we're gonna get a $3 XRP or $6 XRP. No one should, this is Coinbase. Put this out once more yesterday, we are aware that some users may experience increased latency across Coinbase calm and that some users may see intimate zero bounce rest assured that your funds are safe our team is investigating that just happened to you last week you made the statement that you investigated it what did you find from your investigation why hasn't anything changed this is not acceptable for a publicly traded company and this is the best that the united states has this is an absolute joke, everyone, an absolute joke. The best that the United States of America possesses is a concept that defies logic. It is the third time this week that Coinbase has failed. And if you were wondering why Coinbase continues to decline and Binance does not, the answer is that Binance has not failed. In all